quick, before we get started, I need you to subscribe to the channel, or else a spider will crawl into your ear at night. Like most shows and movies in the world, there are unused ideas in deleted scenes, and SpongeBob is certainly no exception. My name is Yaman, you're watching Grapple, and, well, let's have a look at some deleted and unused content from the classic Nickelodeon show, SpongeBob SquarePants. Before we get into things, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Also, comment down below what your favorite item on this list is. That way, you'll enter into our monthly shoutout giveaway. We all know and love the SpongeBob theme song, but did you know that another theme song and intro was considered for the show? Yeah, the original intro was actually a lot shorter, and a bit more plain. It featured some 60s spy movie styled music, and hardly showcased any animation. I mean, it's totally acceptable for an intro for a cartoon show, but it's nowhere near as good as the classic theme we ended up with. Take a look! I'm ready! I'm ready! I'm ready! SpongeBob SquarePants! As of very recently, SpongeBob's Pitch Bible was revealed to the public. This thing is full of ideas that didn't really make it into the final show. For example, the Krabby Patty was originally called the Barnacle Burger. SpongeBob and Sandy were also originally meant to have a romantic relationship, which is really funny, uh, not to mention the fact that Patrick was meant to work at the Chum Bucket. There's so much great stuff in this Pitch Bible, and I really recommend that you check it out. Here's an early map of the town with a lot you can already identify. The Chum Bucket is nearly unrecognizable though. But Kitty Bottom is like any other urban center, if you don't count the fact that it's populated by fishy creatures and other denizens of the deep. Our next piece of deleted content on this list is the Panty Raid scene from the Season 3 episode, Midlife Crustacean. This episode is centered around Mr. Krabs having a short midlife crisis and wanting to feel young again. This episode finishes with perhaps one of the funniest scenes of the show, where Spongebob, Patrick, and Mr. Krabs go on a... panty raid. But unfortunately, Nickelodeon has recently decided to remove the entire episode from streaming services. The scene was considered far too raunchy for younger kids, and I guess it must have been an awkward conversation as a parent having to explain to your kid what a panty raid even is. However, the episode has been around for 18 years now and kids were fine, so removing this episode now just seems a bit strange on Nickelodeon's part. I guess you're gonna miss the Panty Raid. Panty Raid? You're talking about girls, right? Girl girls? Yeah. And you're talking about raiding their dressers for their underpants, right? Oh yeah. There are a lot of SpongeBob games out there, but there is also one that never really saw the light of day. Well, technically speaking, anyway. SpongeBob Happiness Squared is an unreleased SpongeBob game that was being developed by Heavy Iron Studios, the same people who developed Truth or Square. When a developer was contacted about this mysterious game, they simply said that Happiness Squared eventually became Truth or Square. Now, this would be a sufficient response if Happiness Square didn't look so much better than Truth or Square. This game is chocked full of content that was just not used in Truth or Square, and it leads me to believe that this is just a different game entirely. A game that, unfortunately, we'll never get around to playing. I guess it's time to take it up a notch. You're going down. Perhaps the most famous scene in the show is the ending scene for the season 2 episode, Just One Bite. This scene involves Squidward, desperate for a Krabby Patty, entering the Krusty Krab and then getting blown up. 
It's a pretty funny scene, and I think this scene was kept in a few airings of the episode across the world. Uh, however, as far as I'm aware, this scene didn't air very often in America. You see, the episode was planned for a release in October 2001, which is very soon after one of the most devastating terrorist attacks in American history, 9-11. Showing Squidward getting blown up multiple times may not have been entirely appropriate considering the recent events at the time. This is our burglar alarm? A bucket of water? <laughs> that was too easy! Hey, this isn't water. This is... gas! There is a deleted scene that has never been shown to the public, and it was going to appear in the Season 1 episode, Plankton. Apparently this scene involved Squidward being naked, but was deemed too inappropriate. This is interesting, as we've seen Squidward without clothes multiple times throughout the show. So I guess there was some extra detail to Squidward's nakedness that might have crossed the line? I guess we'll never know, but it's funny to think about. SpongeBob, what are you doing? I'm talking to you! SpongeBob, SpongeBob, are you mad? Shut your mouth, you mediocre clarinet player. Mediocre? Now, this is a bit of a silly inclusion, but I thought, hey, why not add it? It's probably the biggest urban legend surrounding SpongeBob, and even if it may not be true, it's still an interesting story surrounding unused SpongeBob content. Red Mist is a creepypasta about an unreleased episode of SpongeBob called Squidward's Suicide. It's basically an amateurly made episode of SpongeBob where Squidward does, uh, well, I think you can guess. The episode also featured a lot of other disturbing content, and it's rumored that it drove some of the SpongeBob team insane. Does this episode actually exist? Uh, no, but for a long time, the validity of the creepypasta was heavily debated amongst fans, and debated even further when the creepypasta was directly referenced in a later episode of SpongeBob. <laughs> The sequel to the first Spongebob movie, titled Sponge Out of Water, was originally going to start off with a musical number. Now, this is more than just a scrapped idea, as the song and accompanying scene was fully recorded and animated. I'm not sure why they didn't add this song, but apparently they were just cut for time. It's a shame though, as this would have been a great opening to the movie. Gary, what day is it? Now, Monday. Oh, Monday! Gosh, it's Monday, my number one day. Back in the saddle at work, I can shine. I love the rat race, and the starting line is Monday. One of the best SpongeBob episodes of recent years is the fantastic stop motion animated episode, The Legend of Bukini Bottom. This episode is wonderful, but there was a deleted scene that never made it into the episode. Why? Well, just take a look at one of the storyboard screen caps. Yeah, that is a severed head. I think it's safe to say that maybe decapitation is a little too much for SpongeBob. But hey, SpongeBob has always been a pretty unhinged show, so it's not surprising that a scene like this was even considered. Why aren't you laughing, Patrick? What's wrong with you? Help me, SpongeBob! My body's butt! Patrick? Is this really happening? Hey, this isn't funny. I was wrong, SpongeBob. Sometimes scary equals scary. The classic episode of SpongeBob titled Procrastination has a scene that was removed by Nickelodeon. When you watch the scene, nothing about it sticks out as being too bad, but this is Nickelodeon we're talking about here, and they don't want to air anything that could be considered inappropriate for children by some people. I think the reason this scene was removed was because there's a moment where Patrick is rubbing Sandy's back, and it kind of looks like he's taking her bikini off. There's also another moment in the scene that features real-life footage of a car crashing, 
which may have been a little too violent for the show. However, this scene is now back in the episode if you watched on streaming services and also upscaled in HD. Come on, SpongeBob! It should be against the law to have to write an essay on such a super sailorific sunshiny day. I'll be one step closer to my driver's license. Well, that is all the time I have for today. If you like this video, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. My name's Gammon, and I'll see you guys very soon.